Hello, this is Ben Hawk, and today we're going to use the rotary jig again. And we've gone and we've gotten some things just to test out on. Um, this right here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a full wrap of uh, about a Bitcoin, uh, basically Bitcoin logo, and we're going to see how that turns out. We just went out and bought a couple things to try out with today. So, first thing we did was we took the lid off and we've got that so what we need to do bring you around here and we need to prep it spray it with 99% uh, uh, alcohol wipe it all off to get any fingerprints or anything off of it you can see that this has got kind of a, a shine to it, like a multicolor glare. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our adhesion promoter. Take that, put it around. You want to do the whole circle because you do not, or the whole thing because you do not know where exactly it's going to lay. You, you can tell what area, what section, but in other words, you can tell where it's going to lay this way, but you can't tell where it's going to lay that way. So we've got that. Now what we're going to do is come back over here and we're going to set it up got it already in there and where's my level got my level and it is level and the first thing you're going to see is down here you've got a ruler what we want to do is we want to come over seven centimeters that's seven centimeters from the print start area to where we want to start printing and then we're going to do probably about a five inch full wrap so that's what we're going to set up so we're going to start the centimeters over here at seven when we go into the software that's the setting we're going to set and then we're going to do the full wrap so we're going to switch over to the software now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to pick out our bitcoin logo or thing and we're going to come here and we're going to choose rotary color and our I'm sorry white and color we're going to double click on that to put it in place we are going to rotate it and we are going to go right here we need to set that to seven so that it comes in seven centimeters like we were talking about i do need to set this for three so that it comes down off the t uh, so that the table lines up properly and then we are going to switch here to inches and we're going to set that at five inches Okay, we probably gonna have just a little tiny bit of overlap because those were I'm gonna pause you for a second okay so basically what I did was I went and I measured the circumference of the thing of the tumbler so we need to change this to 11 and a half okay that made that a little bit smaller than I wanted it so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make that five inches anyway all right and now we've got everything lined up we're gonna oh, we gotta go back to the printer we got to set the jig so that it doesn't hit the head hold on one second all right what we got to do now is we got to make sure that we've got the head lined up properly the bed lined up properly so it does not hit the head 
We need to come down, come over, and then we can come back up. And then come forward with the bed. Come back up. Till it just barely misses it. You can see. Let's see, get you down a little bit further. You can see it's just barely missing the thing. We got to spin it because not everything's perfectly round. Make sure nothing's going to hit. Come that way and we're good. All right, so now we're going to go back to the software, hit print, and be ready to go. All right, now that we've got everything lined up properly and we've got everything in the template here properly, we're going to go ahead and hit print and say OK. And it's going to the printer. Right now it's going to start printing. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to lay down like a primer coat, then it's going to lay down the white coat and then the color. This will take a little bit of time to do. See the front of the white coat laying down now. And it's starting to print the color. Again, this will be a full wrap, so this is going to be a few minutes long.
This will also show you the quality of the image that this thing prints. just a little bit closer so you can see. If I wanted to, I could have made this wider. Just start here a little bit earlier, probably around six centimeters, and come down another inch and a half larger. Again, just so you understand, what's happening is the, the machine is laying down the primer coat, the white coat, and the color. And then what it's doing is it's also putting a primer coat over top of it as well, or a, like a, a varnish over top of it as well. When the ink gets sprayed, that UV light, that light you see going across, that instantly dries the ink. It's UV cured ink and as soon as that light hits the ink it dries. There's no uh, gas out time anything like that. Probably about a little over halfway done now. I could actually have this doing two at one time on these because I have the extra rollers and stuff I could do two of the bottles at once 
If I had something smaller, I could line up like three, four, or five items, depending upon the layout. And we'll find something to do that with in the future. you have a YouTube channel, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, if you have a YouTube channel, a business, or uh, something you want to promote, you, what you can do is go to our Business Promotionals website, uh, businesspromotionals.com, the link's in the uh, description below, and use the coupon code BINHAWK, B-I-N-H-A-W-K, all one word, and receive 10% uh, off of your entire order. If you want to do personalized items like this, this was basically a personal, would be a personalized item. Um, you could go there uh, to youdesignagift.com. Again, the link is in the description below. And again, use BINHAWK as a coupon code and receive 10% off your entire order. That's a thank you for watching my videos. coming around now should be any second meeting up hopefully there's just a just a hair of an overlay
Yep, we got just a hair of an overlay, exactly what I wanted. Now we're closing in on the ink, and then it's going to finish the varnish. And we should be done in just a second. That turned out pretty good. That lined up real nicely. And that's what it looks like. We'll put it back together. It is just a plastic container. Nothing special. But it is there it is. That turned out really nice. I like that. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. And let me know what you would like to see in the comments. Thank you and have a cha-ching day.